final skater of this ladies free skate in sixth place after the short program. The junior world champion in 1996 Yelena Sokolova of Russia. She has a very ambitious program planned. She has nine triple jumps planned in this program. And it's stepping out by John Kander. Triple loop, double toe combination. Lux. Wonderful revolution, isn't it? It's very calmly done. Very tight and clean. Elena in sixth place and certainly can medal here in this event. But as we speak, there are three Americans atop the leaderboard. Michelle Kwan, Tara Lipinski, and Angela Nikodino. Top three spots a year ago in this event were captured by Americans. Doing some very nice triple jumps. It's a real personality and, and interpreting this music rather nicely. I think she's excited about how well she skated. Sixth place after the short program, certainly a chance to medal here. Benita Sokolova. 17-year-old Yelena Sokolova of Russia. Right, 17-year-old Yelena Sokolova of Russia thrilled with the way her free skate went. And here are her marks for technical merit. And they certainly are very nice marks, but she's a very nice skater as well. In sixth place after the short program, trying to move up, she should with her performance. And here's a look at her first triple she did in her program, the triple loop, nice height, straight in the air into a double toe. Nicely done.
Well, that's some of the best spring in any of the jumps that I've seen in this competition. Now the marks for presentation, all important ones. Look at the American judges' marks of 5.0. That's the lowest on the board. Maybe the competition with Nikodinov is rearing its head here. But the rest of these marks, high enough to move Elena Sokolova into third place. So Americans held the top three spots at this event a year ago, but not so this time. Yelena Sokolova gets into that bronze medal position. But in the battle between the two Olympic hopefuls, Michelle Kwan wins round one. She's standing by with Jimmy Roberts right now. Jimmy. All right, Terry, thanks very much. And Terry Gannon made a good point during the commentary. He said this isn't the Worlds, this isn't the Nationals, but all week long there has been somewhat of a sense of tension. Did you feel it at all? Um, I guess tension to skate well. Uh, it's the first time I debuted my long program, and... Um, all I wanted to do was skate my best and show everybody what I've been working at at home um, for the past couple of months and you know I showed to myself that I can still do it. If you had skated well, if you had had fun but you hadn't won, would that have been good enough? It would have been good enough if I had fun. Um, I mean the music itself, it brings, it brings my heart out and really expresses how I feel and the theme about it is just to um, a message of hope and freedom to everybody who watches. And I hope they, feel, they felt it tonight. All right, Michelle Kwan had fun, and there's a bonus for the third consecutive year. She's the champion here at Skate America. Terry? Hope, freedom, and enjoying the moment. That's what this event was all about, and perhaps a sigh of relief that this is a brand new season. She starts it off in a winning way. For Tara Lipinski, the boundless energy was there, but she was just short of perfect, and it may take perfect to win this year. She joins Jimmy Roberts. All right, Terry Gannon, thanks very much. And Tara, did you backstage see Michelle skate? Did you know what you needed to do? Well, I knew I needed to skate well. And um, when I went out there, I felt very confident again. And I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, I had one mistake on the Lutz, and I came back strong, which I think is really important for me to come back and do the loop-loop and everything else so perfect for me. And, you know, I'm kind of happy that I'm in this position right now. This is how I was last year. You know, and I, and I worked hard, and I worked hard, and I came up for the end of the year. And so I'm really pleased. All right, Tara Lipinski, your silver medalist here at Skate America 97. Terry? Well, Jimmy, the next time we'll see this rivalry on the ice at the U.S. Nationals on ABC Sports in January, an Olympic qualifying.